Hi guys, if you missed today's tutoring session, we discussed a little bit about hiding and unhiding. So I'm going to do a little video just to sort of make sure you guys understand that. There's a lot of things that you can hide in Excel. You can hide and unhide a column. You can hide and unhide a row. You can hide and unhide a sheet tab. So let's just take a look at these really quick. Let's say that I wanted to hide column D. If I decided I wanted to hide it, I could simply select it and right click on it and choose hide. Another way that I could do this is I could come up here to the home tab. In my cells grouping, select the format button. Under visibility, I could choose hide and unhide and then tell it that I'd like to hide that column. That's a lot more steps and since I'm trying to save some time, I probably just right click and hide this column. How do I know the column is hidden? Well, I do know my alphabet and I can make it at least halfway through and the alphabet does generally go A, B, C, D, E. And I'm missing my D right here. Sometimes it is difficult to see that double line is there, and sometimes you may not notice that it's, that it's missing, but if you count through your alphabet or you look for a missing number, right now I'll hide row 5. Select row 5, right click on it, and hide. It is very possible that you are going to have this task on your test, to hide a column, hide a row, or hide a sheet tab. Now let's hide a sheet tab. Let's right click on project 2 and hide. So I've hidden all three items. Now, if you think about the game Red Rover, Red Rover, whenever you were a child, in order to break through the line, you had to have both hands let loose. So you knew if you had a really strong person and you wanted them to let go, that if one strong person was on one side and they still hold on to that other person's arm, you couldn't get through. It's the same thing with unhiding. You can't just ask, um, one column or one row to unhide, you've got to ask permission from both neighbors in order to break through. So let's first start with the sheet tabs because they don't have that rule. But when you get to the columns and the rows, you've got to ask both neighbors to release the item, whether it's a column or a row. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, if I would like to unhide a sheet tab, I can simply just right click, say unhide, and it's going to give me the items that are hidden. I have two sheet tabs that are hidden, Project 2, OK, and I also have one more. Oh, let's do it this way. Now, since we've unhidden one by right-clicking, let's now go to our Home tab and our Cells grouping under our Format button, and now we'll choose Unhide, and now we're going to say that we want to unhide Sheet and it tells us we have web cells and we can say OK. So whichever way you choose to do it. The next thing that we're going to do is I need to find the sheet tab where I hid my column. I don't remember which one I did it on. Here we go. A, B, C, E. So I know that D is missing. I can't just select column C, right click and say unhide because I didn't ask both of the partners, so nothing's going to happen. I need to ask C and E. Just like in Red Rover, if I want to break through, both people have got to let go of their arms. So now I'm going to right click and then select unhide and now I get column D back. I also hit row, row 5, so you can see over here it goes 3, 4, and 6. So I'd have to select 4 and 6. I can also come up here to my Format button, Hide and Unhide, and Unhide Rows. So whichever way you feel the most comfortable with. So that's a little bit about hiding and unhiding rows, columns, and sheet tabs. If I'd like to add a new sheet tab, I simply go to my plus sum up right here and add my sheet tab in there to give it a name. Just simply double click. Make sure you're a finisher. Never leave your task halfway done. So if I'd like to name this sheet tab today's work, I need to finish this in order to earn my credit on my test. So I would need to click into the top of my sheet in order to sort of seal that and finish the last step on that. All right, that's a little bit about hiding and unhiding sheet tabs, columns, and rows.